Hello, hello, everybody. Welcome, welcome. We're just hanging out, waiting for Rai to show up. Let's see if I can uh, make sure I get my notices out in time. Though it looks like the notices haven't pinged yet. Hmm. What was that there? Ping, ping. Yeah, something like that. In the meantime, we're hanging out in uh, creepy void synth land. Uh, enjoy the wonderful harpsichord music. <laughs> ah, creepy void sent land is creepy. But uh, I suppose it should be anything else but. Now let's see, where are my stream notifications? Let's post that over here first. Because it is definitely um, spoilerific, and I don't want to spoil things for people who aren't ready. Because that would be mean and wrong. Oh, hush you. Oh, we just are pounding that Richard, Richard Dreyfus joke into the ground, aren't we? A year later, yeah. Thank you, Marky Vanier. I might have to go exploring uh, creepy void scent land just in self defense. Okay, I do have that correct. Yay! Okay, all my notifications have gone out. Yep. As you should. So let's see what's off in creepy void scent land. Actually, I think we've talked with these guys already, haven't we? Hmm. Yeah, I find it interesting. A lot of these statues they've got around here remind me of something in Dark Souls. Especially you've got this one falling over the edge. Not sure what this is all about. Mr. Knight Dullahan. On his broken pony. Wow, that is just so broken. Knees don't bend forward and back at the same time. <sighs> so apparently this is all built on the original owner's memory. I'm surprised it's still floating around here. Technically, if it's built on someone's memory, it should, uh... What's the phrase? environmental support boss um, but it hasn't dissipated so I guess uh, she wasn't environmental support I should turn on my comment 
my uh, Twitch so I can watch chat too. As you can see, I'm uh, not exactly running on all cylinders. It's been, it hasn't been a bad day, but it has been a slow day. And I have gotten some work done. Hello, Doodles. Hello, Foxfire. We shall see how things go. Unikitty, I find, is very interesting. Because we've never seen any other statue like it in-game. Nor any creature like it in-game. It is very unique to this model set, but I keep wondering why they're implying Unikitty here. Random thoughts of randomness. At least these guys are being good boys for the moment. I still don't trust them as far as I can throw them. to go to the concierge just yet. <laughs> yeah, it could be a Lego movie reference to Unikitty, but uh, we'll see. God, that and the Lego Batman movie were just inspired. Yeah, the Unikitty in all her glory. Her being a uh, net neutral term in this case. Ooh, I think we're starting to see a ride! They did set up a really interesting environment here, and I'm glad they're giving us a chance to explore it outside of dungeon mode. Yeah, something happened here and it was ugly. Of course, it doesn't help that my armor is, like, searing into my eyeballs right now. bright light that's like right in front of my face in a very dark room um yeah bit of a bright burn well hopefully Rai will show up soon meow ah there you are do we have kitty cam uh in theory it's not wanting to stir Oh no, not again. Do you want to close uh, down all the Well, no, start? no, because the last few times, after like a couple of minutes, it comes up. Nanny! 
Yeah, I really don't understand. Well, we've got more story ahead of us, so... Do we want to talk to these good folk here before uh, going out to the hydromanic terraces? Always. Go first. Oh, there's the kitty cam! Yay! Go, kitty cam, go! Yeah, I don't understand that delay. Anyway. I guess, let's start with there, Sean. According to your vision, Golbez recruited his champions and raised an army by offering a dragon's aether in exchange. Whatever his crusade, tis unconscionable to use a dragon's life force as fodder. He will answer for his deeds. Oh yeah, uh, Vershawn being pissed is very understandable in this circumstance. A little... Rostinian? No, no, no. Estinian! <laughs> That's Joe Cash shtick. Let him have his shtick. But it's so good! <laughs> I, I did like the shtick. It's a tasty, tasty stick. <coughs> Maybe it's actually Pocky. Ooh, Pocky shtick. <laughs> yeah! Chocolate covered shtick. <laughs> His compilation of all his Estinian wipes was great. <laughs> I know what it feels like to have my essence blended with that of another. Yet tumultuous though it was, it was only one worm's soul. To be bound to scores of others over thousands of years sounds horrible. Yeah. Zero? So with this echo of yours, you can see into the past? Interesting. Those memories may well be all that remain of it, though. Everything and everyone was so warped by darkness. However storied it may appear, this castle is simply the product of its mistress's mind. Which begs to, as I was mentioning before you came on, begs the question of why hasn't it disappeared now that she's gone? Yeah. Momentum. Scarmelone too, appeared surprised by Zero's power. As she says, it must be a lost art. This makes her an invaluable to our cause, far more than someone who can simply commune. Okay, I guess it's off to the terraces. Okay, which way is that? Uh, behind the throne. Okay. Here we go. They just have it be a normal zone load border instead of having to click on something. Uh, nope, 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 nope. Can't have that. Darn, nope, nope, nope. darn void. I'm going to blame it on, on it being the void. Ooh, we can go out to this little terrace here. Nice. Well, for various degrees of nice. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Yeah, let me get that turned on. Well then, fearful void scent, what do you have to say for yourself? one of the somewhat informative ones earlier. Yeah, he was the one who warned us about the clever one in the dungeon. Yeah. So the clever one hadn't been eaten? No one wants it. Then perhaps... I wouldn't recommend it. No eating other sentient beings while we're here. Nope, 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 nope. Golbez? Of course I know of him. Only a fool without ears would you have ears under that thing? His urchfiends lead armies to ravage and conquer. They devour those they deem useless, those who can't fight. If you don't want to be eaten, then you'd better flee. 
though soon there will be nowhere to run. Right. It seems the Urch Fiends keep only those who are fit for battle. Others must escape or be consumed. Yeah, yeah, caught that. Forlorn Void Scent. If the one who devoured her dies, perhaps the mistress will return. Then I may bask in her gaze again. No, no, I think we've had them in the dominatrixes around here. Gulb, as you say? My mistress spoke of him. He commands the Archfiends. They are very powerful and have conquered many domains. The mistress bade us defend the castle from them. Yes, yes, she did. It seems the Archfiends have been attacking other domains. Their fearsome reputation precedes them. No, really? Right. Okay, and... Mr. Watchful. No, you cannot eat me. Aww. Tasty one returns to tempt me. I mustn't eat you. I mustn't eat you. No, you mustn't try to eat me. Golbez? I know of him from those I've eaten. He has minions, and those minions have minions. No one ever sees him. With his army of minions, Golbez would seldom have me back personally. It will not be easy to reach him. Actually, very useful information. And back the way we came. Mm-hmm. Can we take the fearful void scent and like make him our minion? He actually seems very useful. <laughs> Not nearly useful enough. Fair enough, fair enough. Considering what the kibble is, I am uh, not keeping him in kibble. Right. Checking with the others to see if they say anything different. Ah, yes, Shustola is saying something different. Okay. Oh, you've re finished it. already? Or did we get carried away talking? There's yes. no easy way to mark the passage of time in this world, nor do I imagine such things concern Voidsent. It would take considerable mental fortitude to still care about after a millennia in this endless night. Zero. Is there no end to their questions? Uh, I should have demanded more aether. <laughs> uh, get used to it, Zero. Mm -hmm. No trouble on your end either. Good. I dare say Skirmi eh, eh, Leone's fate so, uh, served as sufficient warning. Let's hope that those elsewhere have the same sense. Welcome back. Were you able to learn aught of value? Actually, a few things. So, Countless Void sent the answers to the Arch Fiends, who in turn answer to Golbez, as your vision did suggest. Scar Megalone's aggression is also consistent with the claims that the Archfiend conquer other domains. The question is, how do we reach Golbez if he surrounds himself with armies of minions? We could target his other Archfiends, or perhaps those who have fled his service. Either may yield useful information. That said, we can't do much while we're stuck on this side. This aisle. Oh, that would make 
more sense. Zero, I would ask a favor of you. I am determined to save my sister as, as Daya. If there is even a faint possibility that Golbez has her, then I must find him. To that end, I want you to lend us your strength and knowledge. Will you accompany us on our quest? Forgotten the way of my world already. If you want help, offer payment. We'll knock off several things that could potentially eat you someday. There's only a few things more powerful than you. Mm -hmm. None here will aid you out of kindness of their hearts. Any who claim otherwise are liars and betrayers. Or is this less of a request and more of a threat? If I refuse, will you force me to serve? Hmm. If you accompany us, we can offer you protection. protection. Enlightened self-interest. Protection? I have no need of such. I was Do a you now? I was a prisoner, yes, but only because I couldn't be bothered to resist. I could have easily broken free had I desired to do so. Really now? If you're truly such an aimless creature, then you could do worse than to join us. You needn't expend as much energy to defend yourself as you would alone. Trying to be clever, are you? But even if you had a point, your protection isn't enough to persuade me. Very well, Zero. I propose you travel with us, and whenever you perform a deed that requires payment, we will provide it in Aether. That's all you had to say. Everything else was superfluous. No, no it wasn't. Fair point. Where to now? Either a place the Archfiends may strike next, or where refugees and deserters may seek sanctuary. I know the latter. I'll take you there. I assume you also know how we can get off this aisle? I was brought here on a mount. We can leave the same way. Now that can you we get out the uh, space whale? Mm -hmm. One space whale coming up. <laughs> now that you mention it, I did notice some flying creatures near the terraces. Given our numbers, we'll need a large one. But regardless of size, all I can, all can be won over with Aether. Excellent. Let us go and find our mount at once. Space whale works for Toby treats. Third Golbez must hear of this. And we back really to the need nurse. to stop being snooped on. Yeah, I know. I, she has a large amount of aether because her pool is not small, but she really is kind of burning it at both ends. She yeah. needs to stop that. She's gonna burn out on us, and there will be nothing we can do. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I know exactly eh, yeah, how she feels. Stella, no! Uh, checking out with Mr. Fearful. Ah, 
not a master to rule us, it won't be long before we start preying on one another, and the weak are the first to be devoured. I must find someone strong to serve, and quickly. Really? I figured you'd be one of the more powerful ones, but... Ah, my mistress. Must, no, what must I do to bask in your sublime gaze once more? Yeah, he's a lost cause. Yeah. Watchful. You look tastier every time you walk by. But I mustn't eat you. I mustn't eat you. Yeah, if you eat me, or if you try and eat me, you will find yourself, um, yeah. The indigestion will be mighty. Feral Void Scent is as feral as ever, so don't bother. <laughs> right. Stola? Zero will best know how to handle the creatures. Let us watch and learn. We have a flying space whale. Really? It's easy. I here in my true form, I would be able to carry you all. But even were it possible to so enlarge the gate, the risk would be too great. Of that, I agree. Yep. Not all void scent can fly. It stands to reason that some would be made to serve as mounts. We should be able to find a mount here. With the castle in disarray, the creature will be hungry. Just a little aether should suffice. Are you ready? Leave Troya! Yep. Yep, 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 yep. I do want to know how much excess light aether we still have There's in us. One of us could have done that, and you could have saved your either. Good. It agrees to serve. Get on. He's a big end. Yeah. Oh, it has to carry a uh, light party. Gremlins were light critters. Well, not necessarily, because they did come out of the tower. They weren't native to the first. Yeah, but you've always seen them around things of light, particularly Andapur. Hmm. What is this place? My domain. Oh, really? In the beginning, it was a sanctuary for me alone. But over time, others began to gather here. Those who had nowhere else to go. A settlement of pariahs. Mortals! They're mortals! 
You are under my protection here and will not be harmed. I give you my word. Follow me. I will note the statue in the center. Mm -hmm. Is the paladin doing his wings? It is said that a person's domain is a reflection of what abides in their heart. If that is true, this place may offer a glimpse into Zero's past. You really see that in front of her? I think she just did. <sighs> and she's going to rearrange it all. Probably. It is quite a gathering of void scent. I pray one among them has the knowledge we seek. The longer one lives, the more one yearns for peace. I understand why some would sequester themselves here. This is my abode. The others won't come near, so you may be at ease. While they know their place, if tantalizing Aether were to walk by, I can't guarantee they wouldn't pounce. It is a void sin it is a void sense nature to consume. Their sole purpose. If even if the pursuit of Aether may lead to their undoing, many succumb to instinct. But any who succumb here will have to answer to me. This is my domain's one and only rule, and it is absolute. Okay then. Checking with Stola. Okay, same as before. Rashawn, same as before. All those zooms. Nah, check Estinian. Nope, nope, yep. he, he's the same. Okay. Nowhere to run. Having given you due warning, Zero would leave you to your, your own devices. Consider yourself duly warned. If you wish to go among the voids in here, that is your choice to make. All have fled from one master or another, but whether any of those masters in turn cerned Golbez, I do not know. You must ask them yourselves. Most have traveled to your world, so it shouldn't be difficult to communicate. We shall go about making inquiries at once. Thank you for your counsel. Once we've learned all we can, let us reconvene at yon yonder plaza. You're going too, of course. In which case, I shall accompany you. I only wish to observe. Do not expect me to help. You wouldn't dream of it. Then it's settled. I am ready when you are. Just checking. I want to check out her room. Ah, completely blank and empty. Zero, we need to work on your personality. Ready? Then lead the way. I leave it to you to decide whom to speak. Yes, yes, you don't have to go through the full spiel every time. Yes, they do. Oh, there's a uh, talk circle right behind us in the hideout. Nice. Ask about Zero's abode. I call this my abode, but spend hardly any time here. 
I only return for meditation. While physical wounds can be healed by replenishing one aethers, you can't preserve your form unless you lose if you lose sight of yourself. Such is the risk inherent in consuming another's soul. It dilutes your senses of self, alters you inside and out. To guard against this, I meditate, visualize who I am, in a place all my own. And small talk. Although this is my domain, I don't make a habit of strolling about. It is a strange feeling. Okay then. Let's start with this empty eyed void scent. Excuse me, we're, we're looking for someone who served under Gobas for our time? To walk around with her like that. You're her minion, then. You know I don't take minions. He has some questions. I want you to answer them. Golbez. I don't know that one. Only Scathatch. Oh, we know Scathatch. Oh, yes, we do. When she led us beyond the veil, I grew scared and fled. That was a wise career choice for you, trust me. I've been here since. I don't know anyone else, nor do I wish to. That's all I can tell you. Scathash was a powerful voidsent who ruled over a vast domain. That was a long time ago, though, so I doubt she has any connection to Govaz. No, I... if she did, it's been... Quite, uh, uh, quite uh, uh, permanently severed. Yeah, um, sorry about that. Uh, actually, sorry, no. not sorry. Not sorry at all. Waiting, Waiting voidsent. Voidsent. Whose likeness is this, you ask? The hero who will save the world. I'm waiting for the day he comes. Or is it a she? I can't remember the details. I don't know how long I've been waiting, or why I even wait. Could you be the hero, perhaps? No, I don't think so. Something tells me I'll know when I meet him. Or her. I'll just have to keep waiting. Are you waiting for Unu Kalai? I think he's waiting for Uno Kalhai. Talk circle! Mm hmm. Tis the heart of my domain. Normally it's deserted, but you and I have drawn other. drawn everyone out. I don't recall the statue, though. Oh, really? However, it came to be here, it's. I certainly didn't wish for it. Really? And the vo- And this void scent is waiting. Did he imagine it and put it there? It's possible. Hungry void scent. Stay away from me. If you don't want to be eaten, stay away. Golbez. Golbez. I have heard the name before. I remember. Always speaking of a great crusade. I don't know what that is, but it sounds delicious. A crusade, you say? From whom did you hear this? Poor fellow. He was a minion of another minion. Went on and on about the terrible things he saw. I see. Perhaps Farfellow can tell us more. Far far fellow. Or something that what Mr. Amiable? Yep. Just checking for other talkables. Yeah. Hello, little guy. Talk with me. You're one of the mortals. Is it true? When you die over there, you really die? 
So it is! So it is! What brings you here, then? We're looking for information about Golbez. Ah, yes, Golbez. He seeks strong minions to grow his army, so I hear. But recently, he stopped doing that. Instead, he devours all. Oh, really? Perhaps he's yeah. gathered enough fodder and is now intent on bolstering his own strength. A sure sign he's about to make a move. Yep. Satisfied with what you've learned? Ah, but let's step away before you become too tempting to resist. And... It's normally enough for newcomers to appear, but for her to bring them herself? That's never happened before. At least not in my time. Interesting. And there's the talk circle, which will be the next oh, step. Oh, hold on. No others. Vershawn. Where is he? He's in a corner behind the talk circle. To the east. Right. in order to strike down the cloud of darkness that my sister crossed over into the void. What befell her after she vanished into the gate? How did she become Golbez's captive? These things and more, I hope to learn. So somewhere around yeah. here is our friends. So I'm going on a little walk about to see if we can find them. Vicious void scent. D. Hello, Vicious. Uh, I'm so hungry I might die, but I can't. Not while someone's near. You're not devouring my aether, you hear me? You're not devouring my aether! No, no, we aren't. Nope, 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 nope. I will Don't note none the of that. door behind him? Nope. No. There does seem to be a pillar on the other side. I'm just looking at the mini-map. Or not the main map, but yeah. the real map. Checking in here. I hear flowing water. Ah, here's a stadium. Indeed. If a void scent is too weak to create its own domain, it must join with others for protection. Alternatively, it might devour them in a bid to become stronger, and so doing risk losing its sense of self. It is an unenviable struggle. I agree. Just checking. Yeah, we, st we still have a missing cat mom. This goes further than I thought. Okay, it was up above. Uh-huh. No sign of Cat Mom, though. It's quite the palace, or once was. City. A walled city, maybe? Maybe. I mean, this section here is probably a... Alice or keep, or was. Actually, I think this might be a, a part of the city proper. Uh, if you look carefully, there's a lot of floating islands off in the distance. Mm hmm. And they also have city structures. Yeah. That's where we started. That shouldn't go through. Though I don't trust water that uh, bubbles. Okay. Back near where we started. Yeah, I'm not surprised. I thought I saw a demon in a corner. No? Um, yeah. That building. Nope, nope. Go around. Ah! Ah! 
Gestola? As you may recall, when larger voids into summon, it all, only its soul makes the journey to the source. Upon its arrival, it takes possession of a host body. But during that time, what becomes of the actual body here in the 13th? The answer to this question gives me a valuable insight into cross-rift travel. To that yes. end, while asking after Golbez, I also see what Voidsent can tell me about their experiences with Summit. Hello, Mr. Squidhead. Uh, you look awfully familiar. Uh, if it isn't a mortal, you remind me of the time I was summoned to your world by someone who sought beauty. Well, it turned out to be a deviant who had my vessel chained to a bed, and then I tried to break free, he had the gall to call me a hideous fiend. And as if that wasn't bad enough, he started slicing me up. I left that body and fled back here as quickly as I could. Never again. Never again. Okay, I totally feel sorry for him. Yeah. That I'm trying to is... think of if that sounds at all familiar, and I don't think so. I don't think so, but um, that's hentai material right there. Uh, I'm sorry, dude. I am so sorry. Uh, the concept of what he just described was... Uh, yeah. Yeah. No, I, I'm I'm sorry, dude. I'm so sorry. <laughs> That's all I can say. Yeah. Okay, back to the start or in Back circle. to the talking circle. Yeah, but that leaves you scarred, demon or no? Um. Mm -hmm. It seems the rumors of Goldbred's reach even my remote domain. Fair to assume he gathered strength for his crusade, wherever it may be. But I must say, I wouldn't have guessed that Farfello was once in Goldbez's army. It's a miracle he survived serving an archfiend. Ah, I suppose I should explain. Farfello yes, is. Farfellow is actually the weakest among us. Constantly in fear of being devoured, he seldom consorts with the others. The only one he's comfortable with is Sitiato. He's a fellow coward who runs at the instant he senses a threat and won't stop until he's exhausted. When their hunger grows too intense, they feed on each other's aether, such as their relationship. But I ramble. You intend to seek out for fellow, I presume? Yes. Then I'll come with you. It's less likely to hide that way. Thank you. Meanwhile, elsewhere. Lights. Not it's only did the mortals conquer Troyland, they defeated Scarmelione. I struggle to believe it. Then there is more, my lords. They were aided by one of our world, who transformed Scarmelione's soul into crystal. This one speaks of memoria. <laughs> now there's something I'm not here tonight. It'll bring a pile of nostalgia to my breast and a tear to my eye. <laughs> the very notion was an absurd! Drowned in darkness. As well were you. And yet Scarmillione still does not answer. Were he alive, he would have returned by now. 
weakest though he was, his ability to regenerate was without peer. <laughs> if this account is true, if a memoriat has survived, they cannot be suffered to live. Leave this matter to me, Lord Gothen. I, Avaricia, shall strike down any who pose a threat to our plans. Tis true, you are a proven commander, well suited to leading an assault. And when I have succeeded, I would beg a boon of you. What do you desire? The dragon's ether. All that remains. Without incentive to sway me, I know not to wither they will blow. Hmm. Boldly spoken. I trust you will not disappoint me. Upon this flowing hair and my immortal soul, I will not fail. Then go. And impress upon these interlopers the futility of defiance. My lord. Fellow keeps to the fringes of my domain. This way. And a new talk circle. Talk about for a fellow's hiding place. The voids in here don't answer to a master. They can do as they please. But all must answer to the hunger and seek out prey when they need aether. Except for a fellow in Sitia. Seriato. Seriato, that is. They are content to take from one another. Barring incident, they dare not venture out. When he takes flight, Sitirate will not seek shelter until he's utterly spent. Farfello, on the other hand, prefers to hide in the same place. Come. Hi, Vershawn. That has not changed. There is Sitiato. You sure? I thought that was Delvag. <laughs> oh, whatever will I do now? Sitiato, this is rather unexpected. Where is Farfelio? For Farello isn't here anymore. He's left. Yes, that's right. Left? That doesn't sound like him at all. Has someone overindulged? It was only a matter of time if they were taking from each other. Well, he's gone, all right? What more do you want me to say? And there he goes. And off he flees, as he's wont to do. But something doesn't sit well with me. What would you make of Sitiato's behavior?
I don't think he was telling the truth. Oh, I don't think he was telling all the truth. So you think so too? As he says, Orfelio is gone, but that is quite unusual. As is the fact that Sitiato, who is certainly frightened by something, chose not to flee but instead hide here. But Falafelio usually... Oh no. We must go after Sitiato. Now. Yeah. yeah. But first... Hmm? That's a long ways down. Uh, looking over the edge. Yeah. Give me a sec. Yeah, uh, that's actually probably another sky. Yeah, that's a second sky island yep. that's floating under us. Yep. Kind of a pair of them conjoined, but yes. Uh, Foxfire Zero is not a witch. Zero is a, vo a void scent that we gave a little uh. extra aether to. A, uh, 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 mortal void scent. Yes. Sitiato? Hold on. Okay. Sitiato, we need to talk. There is no time. The wind rises. We must flee. What is he talking about? After uh, him. I could tell you, but only because I saw the cutscene. And up to the top. Hi, Estinian. Don't mind us. He'll probably lead us the rest of the way. What's gotten into you? What do you mean the wind rises? When the wind rises, she comes! Barbar Barbarica! Isia. Barbarica? Who in the world is that? We must flee, all of us! There's no time! don't sense anything, but he seems convinced. It's a dead end beyond. We'll corner him. Yeah. Hiya. Siriato. Doomed. There's no one to run! What are you running from? I already told you. Barbarisia. The Archfiend of Wind. Archfiend, you say? We'll be devoured and forced to serve. A fight in the crusade, but it makes no difference. In the end, all are eaten by her or her enemies. I didn't want to fight anymore. That's why I fled and came here. I see. That explains almost everything. Almost. I thought it was Farfello who used to serve as Archfiend, not you. Not you, who always ran away at the first sign of trouble. 
You who now speak as though you were Barbarica's minion. There's only one other explanation. He, he devoured Farfarello, didn't he? Didn't he? Indeed, that would account for his uncharacteristic behavior. So, that's the way of it. Did you de devour Farfarello? And not just a portion of his aether, but his entire being. How did you know? It wasn't only your behavior that felt strange. You felt strange. As if there was more than just you present. Now, I don't believe you would have lost control. More likely, it was at our fellow's behest. I can't hide anything from you. I admit it. Farfarello didn't leave. I hate him. He feared Barbaricia more than anything. He did the endless fighting. So he begged me to devour him, that he would never have to fight again. Rather than an eternity of fighting, he chose a moment of pain. Note the uh, switch in theme. Mm -hmm. For all the good it did, I can still hear his voice in my head. He's frightened. So very frightened. When you're eaten, your essence is blended with that of the, your devourer, and though you have no control, your consciousness in part endures. Were this a world where the wheel of life and death still turned, the soul wouldn't have lingered so stubbornly. In time, it will return to the great flow. She has a lot of memories. But there is no such end here, no escape. All know this. In making his choice, for fellow must have been desperate indeed. And now that desperation has joined with Sarita's fear, driving him to act erratically. place will become a battlefield. We don't want to be eaten. Neither me nor Farfarello. There's nowhere to go. Nowhere. Then tell me about Barbarica. I would know who we face. It's too late. She's as good as here, and no one can escape her winds. No one. You want to lay money on that? Should we switch over to Summoner and uh, fight her with Garuda? I am very tempted! <laughs> oh, she moved her entire Can't island over here! With her. Nice! The Archfiend's after you and yours, I shouldn't doubt. Yeah, um, sorry about this. Perhaps you should go and find them. But be warned, whatever this is about, do not if expect you want us to, to, to get involved. No, we can actually handle this. Memoria would be handy. You and me both.
One of the arch fiends approaches. They must have been tracking our movements. She's here. Interesting design. You've saved me the trouble of traveling to Troya. Excellent. You've saved us the trouble of finding you. <laughs> Mind your manners, mortal. My name is not to be spoken, save in reverence and fear. All right, Barbie. <laughs> what is this pitiful domain? Pitiful wretches all. I will put you out of your misery. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. Yeah. Uh oh. And she took the grim one. Who was waiting. Scarmilione, a good riddance. Felled by outsiders in pursuit of what? Pray tell. A dragon, one who crossed to this world thousands of years ago. Know you aught of it? <laughs> a dragon, you say? Golbez is more clever than I realized. To let the prize live that it might lure more prey to us. Very well. In gratitude and service, I shall devour every last mote of their souls. Where is she? Where is Ashdaya? Huh. You even share its scent. How curious. And irresistible. Ugh. If you think us easy prey, you're wrong. Unlike Scarbiglione, I need not skulk in shadow to claim what is mine. If you would know about the dragon you seek, then enter into my domain. You may flee instead if you wish. If the fate of the sorry lot here oh, is of no don't concern, don't expect to much satisfaction from us. One way or another, I will have satisfaction. Yeah, no satisfaction granted here. However, we can grant an ass whooping. Go after Barbarusia. What else? What's the plan then? Hadn't gotten that far yet. Yeah, we go after Barbarusia. This is one time where charging in the front door is the most Indeed. appropriate thing. Yet she will have the Especially other since she's made it so nice and convenient. No less than fully prepared. We find her and get our answers. You be joining us, Zero. She did eat. A you may be of easily goaded into accepting her challenge, but my curiosity is not so insatiable as to cloud my judgment. But she ate to uh, under your domain. Nevertheless, if you are desperate for my aid, you know my price. I shall pay it. So long as you leave me strength enough to see my sister home, you may take as much as you wish. And okay. lest you forget, mine is no ordinary ether. Babariccia too recognized its potency. 
Yeah, I, I warn you, uh, taking ether from him would be like drinking from the fire hose. A bigger fire hose than I've got. <laughs> Maybe. Very well. We have a bargain. question is, is how late do I dare go? <laughs> we can at least wrap this up a little. Yeah. What little I learned in your absence did not pertain to the Archfiends. That discussion can wait until after we've trended with Barbarica. Oh, oh. Just you wait, Barbarica. I will have answers from you yet. Do not get dragons mad at you. It never ends well. No, no, no. Dragon A rage is long lasting and deep. I have no intention of demanding anyone's aether until afterwards. Weakening you now would only reduce my chances of getting paid. Thank you. She has a point. The less time we give the enemy to prepare, the better. If everyone is ready, then let us set forth. Indeed. And yet, my heart weighs heavy for those Barbaries that struck down. Were it not for us, she would not have come here. Should you require a moment, Zero? For what? Barbariga took what she could. She was wise to strike quickly, as we would what as we would be. Agreed. This is no time for sentiment. Only the battle matters now. So, your choice. Do we push forward for the trial? Or do we leave it here for Monday? I think we leave it here. Possibly for Monday, we could do an early stream. For one thing, I still need to go through gear from the dungeon. Yeah, uh, keep in mind that um, Baron is hoping to stream tomorrow, and we don't want to right. collide streams. There's still Sunday. Or before 5, if you can get up that early. Keep in mind that we still have to deal with QuickBooks and PayPal. Oh dear. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I th think we need to leave it for now because I have maintenance that has been waiting all week. You are going to collapse sooner than later. <laughs> that too. Yes, we do not like to cross the streams. Uh, the only not time those streams. The only time I stream during the time Baron would be streaming is because I want a recording of something, not actually want to be out and entertaining, if that makes sense. In any case, we will call it here for the night then. Uh, right in front of the trial. Woohoo! Mm hmm. At least we're finally there. Yep. We will... <laughs> Hello, Ari. Just in time for us to sign off for the evening. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you have wonderful timing there. <laughs> Don't worry. As soon as we end, you can watch through all the VOD. It'll be on oh. Twitch for a while, and then I try and move it off and put it up on YouTube after a week. Mm -hmm. You guys have a great evening. Thank you all very much for coming along. Uh, we will be back tomorrow for more Palace of the Dead, Sunday for more Bun 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 Fun Fun, and then we will pick up story again on Monday, which will probably open with the trial. Woohoo! Mm -hmm. You all have a great evening. Be safe. Be s um, yeah, be safe. Get a good night's sleep. See you next time. 
yeah, everyone have a great night.